Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another empties video. These are my favorite to make. I basically go through all of the stuff that I finished up and I talk about it. I just give you like mini reviews on stuff. So I only have a little bit of makeup. I have a lot of skincare this month. And of course I always have snacks at the end of the video. Everything that I mention, I'll have it listed in the description and I always link the products that I would repurchase myself or that I have repurchased already. So that info will be down in the description. It's always really long on these videos. I have not been wearing makeup much this month and when I do, I haven't been wearing face products. I have like a new kind of daily routine where I just do like I still wear cheek products, but I don't wear foundation or concealer and it's it saves so much time in the morning Like when I just get ready like that, it's a lot quicker for me So I guess uh, I used to use up a lot more face products than I do now because if I go back and see my old empties videos I usually always had like a foundation or a concealer, but I just haven't been wearing it lately So that's my story for you. <laughs> anyway, I did finish up a uh, makeup setting spray here This one's from wet n wild. It's the photo focus cucumber three in one primer water i really liked this it's around five to six dollars i bought it at walmart when it first kind of launched but it's not as new anymore so i've seen it pop up at a lot of other drugstores like i think target sells these now um, i've seen walgreens carry sometimes new wet n wild products this claims that you can prep set and refresh your makeup with it i like to use this for pretty much just refreshing my skin i also tried this as a prep like instead of adding moisturizer but my skin is so dry that it doesn't really cut it for me um it's mostly i just liked it because it felt refreshing and i would definitely buy it again i mean it's very affordable for me it's in my budget i would totally recommend this especially if you're new to like refresher sprays or just facial mist or something like that if you've never tried one i think this would be a great place to start and it's very affordable i love this i would repurchase it i definitely want to try one of their other scents they have a rose one and they have a coconut one a lot of you said you like the coconut so i might get the coconut that next but i really enjoyed the scent of the cucumber it's so nice i did really like that okay this is something that i actually finished up last month or maybe it was like at the very beginning of this month but i forgot to show it to you guys there's a lot of cat hair on it. <laughs> it is in the bottom of the basket. This is my Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eyeliner Pen. It is completely dried out. I loved this while it lasted. It does have a really nice sharp felt tip kind of pen uh, point to it. It's not, it's not a brush pen liner. It's definitely like a little marker one. So I like that because I feel like with the brush liners, they end up kind of like splaying at the end of the tip. And this one didn't do that. It just dried out dry and I used it so much that I wasn't shocked it dried out um, there's kind of a lot of like shimmer on it because I wear shimmer almost all the time when I do eye makeup so it just I I feel like it I ran this thing into the ground like I had this going strong probably for I want to say at least four months and I was wearing it like non-stop and it's supposed to be waterproof too this is also waterproof and it really is waterproof because I have worn this like through crying I've worn this I'm a very emotional person so <laughs> I can vouch for it that it's waterproof and as someone who loves a cat eye this is like become a staple for me because of how quickly it allows me to get my little cat wing on and uh, I did recently buy the ColourPop BFF pen liner but this it does not hold a candle to this like this is my ultimate favorite because it is black waterproof like solid it lasts me all day long and the BFF is like it's way more affordable, but I just feel like I'd rather save up and buy this. Like, I think this is actually worth the money. And I want to say it's around 25 bucks, maybe 20, around that range. So I would save up for it. I know it's pricey, but it lasted me a few months. So I would totally buy this again. I would recommend it. Okay, and I have one product, one more product here that I would not recommend. I like really hated this. And I normally don't say that about products. Like, it's very rare that I actually despise something but this is it okay and i hate to say it because i like milani as a whole like as a brand i think they're great i really like their blushes their lipsticks like glosses they have so many good products highlighters but this one was a bust i don't know what it is about milani but they have never made any mascaras that i thought were really good so i didn't have high hopes for this anyway but it was a new product and i was like "Ooh, let me try that out this is the milani highly rated 10 in 1 volume mascara i saved the packaging because 
I don't know. I don't know why I saved the packaging, but I threw it back in here to show you guys. I did, I think, use this with you in a get ready with me, like opened it with you guys and everything. And I did use it a few times after filming that video, but every single time I wore this mascara, I would just have tons of flakes. Like this formula is so dry, or maybe I just got a really dry tube or something, but I don't know what it is. This formula does not work on my lashes. It is absolutely like like a desert. It is so, so dry. Um, it, it doesn't add length. It doesn't add volume. It just does nothing for my lashes other than tint them black a little bit. The one thing about it I can say is the packaging is really cute. I like the stars on it. Kind of reminds me of like the Hollywood Boulevard or something like that. Um, but I, I don't know. I just did not care for this. It says 91% saw dramatic volume in one stroke. I didn't see it. It just does nothing for me. It really, really needs to go. So yeah, so that's pretty much all the makeup I've used up. I haven't finished up a lot of things right now. Um, but I do have a lot of skincare. So let me grab the bag, have it all right here in my Sephora bag. Okay, let's move on into skincare here. I have a lot more skincare to share with you guys because this is something that I use every single day, no matter what. I always love to just relax and like unwind with my skincare routine. I love doing skin skincare anything. And I like to do face masks too. And now I get to do them with my friends, even my guy friends, you guys. I got them into doing masks. It's been really fun. And I've been um, experimenting with like different masks and stuff. So anyway, let me talk about some other things to get them out of the way. This one is the CeraVe Hydrating Micellar uh, Cleansing Water. It's supposed to cleanse, hydrate, and remove your makeup. It's a little on the pricier side at the drugstore. I want to say I paid like maybe 12 bucks for this one. And I'm not saying that's a lot, but for um, a hydrating water, like at the drugstore, usually I can get ones that are a little bit less expensive. And I loved the NYX one, but I cannot find it anymore, not even at Ulta. So... I was bummed and I bought this instead. I didn't like it as much as the NYX one. I actually felt a little bit of irritation with this and I don't know if it was just because I had eczema maybe going on, but I had this for a few months and I'm just happy that it's on its last legs. I know there's a little bit left in here, but um, I found that it was mildly irritating, so I don't think I'd repurchase this. Um, it did remove makeup, face makeup, but I didn't care for it that much, and I won't be repurchasing it. I did buy recently like an Olay one. It's like an Olay unscented type of water thing. It was like $6. Ooh, this I loved. This is from Physician's Formula. It's kind of gross and gunky, but I, oh, I use this all the way up. It's called the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. I really like the way that this removes makeup because it doesn't irritate the skin. It doesn't dry my skin out and I use this all over my face so I can actually take off eye makeup with this too. I don't have to go in with a separate eye makeup remover. I just use this. So I feel like it kind of eliminates the need for a makeup wipe for eye makeup remover and that's why I'm so crazy about these melting cleansing bombs because it's like a one-stop shop. It's just the easiest way, the quickest way for me to remove my makeup and this was a total like win product. I loved it. I really, really like this. I enjoyed this so much. I didn't repurchase it because I ordered a new one. I am so bad. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I love trying different cleansing balms. And there's a brand by Beautylish called Good Molecules. They just released their own version of a cleansing balm. And I ordered that one the other day. It was $15 for twice as much product as this. So it was $2 more for a lot more product. I'm very excited about trying that one out now. Next, but this is a great one. I would repurchase this in the future. Um, I'm not like writing it off or anything. I just wanted to try the new one. You know, you know how it is when you're a beauty lover. You got to just try out those new products. I have a couple of perfume samples I got with like online purchases. This was uh, Joy Dior Joy. All I remember was that this one was strong. It smelled like roses, just like boom, roses, very florally. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't really my thing. It was just like a lot, a lot of perfume. It was very strong. I like this one a lot. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I like it. I really want to get this. I'm just trying not to buy perfume right now because it's so expensive. I never wear it. I'm not allowed to wear it at work, so it's like... I don't know, I used to spray a spray of perfume every day, so I broke that habit, but I just realized that I'd rather buy makeup right now or skincare, like perfume's kind of an extra thing for me, so I probably won't be buying these at all. <laughs> but I do really like light blue because it's so fresh, like it just smells, it smells like something that could be 
worn by anybody. It's not really too strong to me. Like, I don't know, it's just enjoyable. I really like this. I enjoy this scent more than the floral one. But anyway, yeah, I'm trying this by perfume because another reason why is my dermatologist said that it's really not good for my skin. So that's why I've been trying not to use body products that are scented especially um and it's been you know kind of uh, it sucks because i want to wear perfume i want to wear body sprays and stuff but i just can't like i really shouldn't so when i do wear perfume i just spray it like on my clothes i can't really spray it on my body i told you guys i kind of went crazy with the face mask this month i love doing these they're so fun and my first one here is my favorite it's the rich hydrating sheet mask from trader joe's this is three dollars at trader joe's they do have skincare it is kind of in a little hidden aisle they do have like a little bit of, it's limited but this sheet mask is like a gem it is my favorite product that they have for cosmetics because it's just very soothing to the skin it feels nice it kind of has a light cucumber scent again i told you guys i like cucumber stuff and it's just really nice and refreshing it does contain hyaluronic acid it contains honey it contains pomegranate extract rosehip oil green tea turmeric chamomile and it's really nice i love it i've talked about it before I've talked about this before and I will always mention it because it is that good. And uh, these I actually got sent to me in PR. I'll talk about these because they're all from the same brand. This is by, it's called Sweet Chef, but it's by Glow Recipe, I believe. And they have like skin serums and then they have these sheet masks which are infused with the serums as well. This one I bought from Target myself. These two they sent to me and I liked them so much I wanted to try the third one they had. So this is the Beet and Vitamin A Fresh Press Sheet mask this one is supposed to refine pores and smooth rough skin there's no parabens and no mineral oil in this i like the whole concept of like the design with the little beat and it does it did have like leaves it looked really cute like the packaging is super cute i have to say that i felt nice on my skin it felt um it, it smelled a little bit strong but it was all right like i this one the beat one wasn't my favorite I liked this one better. This is the Ginger and Vitamin C Fresh Press Sheet Mask. It smelled like ginger. It smelled so good. And it made me hungry, honestly. I love ginger. Fresh ginger, I'll eat it like it's candy. Like it just, it is candy to me. Like it just, it makes my stomach feel good. I love, love ginger so much. And this one um, is supposed to brighten dark spots. I liked this one more because I like the scent of ginger. This one was a little bit earthy for me. You know, beets have a particular scent to them. It's not my favorite. Um, so this one I wouldn't purchase myself, but I did like the ginger vitamin C. I would totally get this because I like the scent of it. And I don't know if it really brightened my skin or anything, but it did make it feel nice and soft afterwards. So I liked the vitamin C one. And then I went ahead and bought this at Target. I saw that they had another Another one I didn't know about this one it's called their kale and vitamin B fresh press sheet mask this is the hydrating one I like this one the best and I don't even like kale so that says a lot about me it doesn't smell like kale thank goodness because kale also has a very earthy particular scent to it that I don't like I hate it actually I can't stand the way kale smells my mom used to make these nasty kale smoothies every morning and and she would like just put water and kale and like Ooh, the scent of it. It smelled like lawn clippings in, in the kitchen. And I remember like, ooh, I just remember that so vividly. <laughs> Finished up this body lotion. This is the Luberderm fragrance free for normal to dry skin. It's sensitive, lanolin free. It's supposed to moisturize your skin for 24 hours. I liked this. It wasn't my favorite though. I don't think it's better than the Aveeno. I don't think it's better than my CeraVe that I'm using right now. I feel like the Aveeno, I know I've used it like my whole life, but for some reason lately, I just feel like it hasn't been enough moisture for my skin. I don't know what it is. My skin's just been really, really dry lately. And this is not enough moisture either. So I have repurchased this a few times. I think this is like my second or third time maybe buying this, but I'm kind of done for now. I've moved on to CeraVe and I'm using the anti-itch one. It's so good for eczema if you have it. Love that one. I got some Dr. Bronner's soap here. This is the almond scent. I use this to clean my makeup brushes and I also use it to get out stains on my laundry. This is so good for like a bunch of different things. You could even use this as a body wash. Some people use this as shampoo and you can buy it at pretty much every drugstore now. I like to get the bigger bottle. I think it's like 15 bucks at Target. Um, they have a peppermint one too. That's my other favorite, but the almond has been like my jam lately. I love this. It takes out stains really well, especially like foundation brushes. It removes everything. I use it for my sponges too. I think that's it for skincare, you guys. So 
All I have left is like Trader Joe's stuff as usual. So this is the part of the video where I talk about like food, snacks, whatever I have. So first up, I wanted to mention this. It's something that I have never seen before at Trader Joe's. It's their unsweetened almond cashew macadamia nut beverage. This stuff is so delicious. I love it. I use this in my smoothies whenever I make like fruit smoothies or protein shakes, whatever. I love this for that. I mean, you can use it for whatever you want, but I like to use this even as like, um, when I make like ice lattes at home. It's dairy free, I love it for that. It tastes really nice, it's very thick. It's perfect for smoothies. I love it for smoothies and protein shakes especially. I also have another favorite item from Trader Joe's. These are the pita chips. It's the sea salt version, reduced guilt version. They have a couple different versions of these pita chips. There's like a Parmesan one, there's a regular, and then I think these, I'm not sure, but there's a lot of different kinds to try. These ones are my favorite. I love these just to munch on, like while I'm studying, I like to have these with hummus. I like to have them with, um, they have a new thing. It's like a jalapeno almond dip. It's really good with that too. I love that stuff. I love these and I love that. The almond jalapeno dip is new, I think it's new. This one is a newer item too. I actually didn't like this that much. It's the Cocoa Crunch Cereal. I got this at Trader's because I, I was like, oh, it's like Cocoa Puffs basically for grown-ups. It's uh, sweetened with rice and sorghum cocoa powder. And I guess I was expecting it to taste like Cocoa Puffs, so I was a little disappointed. I mean, it's there's not as much sugar in it as that, so. Uh, it, it's good though. I mean, it's not it's not bad, but it's not it's not Cocoa Puffs. I have another snack from Traders. This is kind of a newer one. It's their organic elote corn chip dipper chips. They're basically corn chips, um, but they're a little. They have like chili powder on them, and that's basically it. <laughs> it's not like when I got these, like people were freaking out about these. I follow a lot of those like Trader Joe's Instagram accounts, so I know when new products are out there, so I can keep my eye out for them. So this was one of those things that like everyone was freaking out about and I was like okay it must be great it ain't nothing like the real thing I'll tell you that right now I have some coffees that I finished up this one was just a sample it's a Dunkin Donuts original blend coffee I like this a lot I actually want to buy that and I normally get this this is like my normal coffee it's just the light roast from Trader Joe's this one's really good I mean it's basic but it's good and it's cheap so I like it it's perfect for me as a student like I drink so much coffee well just as someone who's always busy like I love caffeine and I know it's really bad like it's not a good thing to be addicted to caffeine but I'm definitely one of those people like if I don't have my caffeine like I feel a little bit a little bit cranky I feel a little bit foggy without it I get headaches without it so at this point I just I like my caffeine I like my caffeine every morning. I gotta get that fix. I always have a cup of coffee um, when I'm getting ready in the morning. Like I make my own coffee and then maybe sometimes I'll go out and get some coffee like during my day. But I like, I like caffeine. I just like caffeine. So I'm not very picky with coffee. I have one last item here. This is a cat product that I use for my cats. And a couple of you asked me to start including like cat stuff. So I thought this would be a good place to start. This is Arm & Hammer Double Duty Litter Deodorizer. So this is great if you guys have multiple cats or if you live in a small space. I sprinkle a bit at the bottom of the pan before I put the litter in. So I just use this just very lightly and it does have a nice um, refreshing scent to it. It's not super strong though. I mean, when you put the litter on top, you don't really smell it. It's just that the baking soda helps absorb uh, urine odors, especially when it comes to cats. Like the ammonia odor can be very strong and I do clean my litter like every day. Like I'm very, uh, I guess, adamant about like cleaning it constantly, especially if you have like a smaller space, you know? I, I just like to have it clean. I'm very clean when it comes to my place for myself and my pets. I just like to keep things clean. As I was saying, I've always been someone who likes to clean. Like I've, I get, I get relaxed by cleaning and I like doing laundry. I've never, I didn't have a washer and dryer until now. So for me, laundry has been fun. Like I've been really liking to do it because I used to always have to go to a laundry mat. So now that I have my own washer and dryer, I'm like, I need to do, like I wanna do laundry and stuff and it's just fun for me. So yeah, I, <laughs> excuse the cat butt. Um, but anyway, I, I guess I'll end the video there. I could talk about how much I enjoy cleaning. I just get like satisfaction out of doing it. All right guys, well that's it for my April empties. I hope to have more in the future. I hope that in May I'm gonna really strive to use up more skincare and more makeup. So that's been a goal of mine. Like I'm really trying to 
use up more things this year and uh, for the most part I've been pretty good about it but I have purchased some new things here and there but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know what you guys have finished up tag me on Twitter send me a picture on Instagram I want to see your DM send me your empties I'd love to hear about them and as always thank you so much for watching